Hey yarn friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla. I'm Elijah. AKA the Yarn Enabler. <laughs> he came home, oh and Phoebe, we have Phoebe today. Um, Elijah came home from work and told me that Michael's had a lot of yarn on clearance. So the next day when he was off work, he had I had some errands for him to run in town. So I went with him and got him to go by Michael's because they had all the yarn in these big, huge wire bins outside on the sidewalk. And there was just no way I could stand there and dig through those bins because um, <laughs> they were like humongous bins. <laughs> and so he took me by there and he um, sweetly came up there and dug through the bins for me. And you know how when you see yarn, you know, like, like I'm looking all the way around all four sides of the bins and I see these big huge cakes you know, like at the bottom of course and so he was very sweet and dug all the way to the bottom and got um, big cakes out for me so anyway I thought I would show y'all what I got from Michaels that was on clearance at very good prices so anyway the, they had some yarn inside also <coughs> excuse me but the yarn in the bins outside were $2.99 each and so when I went up there and looked, I mean, they had all kinds of yarn, like, you know, um, I can't even think at the moment, but they had all different kinds of brands and different things out there. But they had like big, huge Karen cakes for $2.99. And we all know these are $9.99. And so I just got, you know, all these that I saw really. So, um, this color right here is, oh, Elijah, can you see? Surfaced cherry. I, I got my lights not on me. <laughs> can you see it? Compote. Cherry compote. Yeah, cherry compote. Anyway, so he dug me out three of these. And these are huge, you know. They have... Um, 603 yards so I don't know if I might try to make like a huge blanket with this or something maybe a rectangle granny because you know it seems to be like the only thing I can make nowadays is grannies but um <laughs> I don't know I like that co dark colorway and this color does remind me of someone so um I don't know I have three of those so actually if I have there's 603 yards, and I have three of them, so I can make a very big blanket. <laughs> okay, and then I got this one, and this one says, I don't know, I have to have a light on, and I turned my light off. There, I'll have to put Shadow it on. Berry. Shadow Berry. No, they only had one of these, but they would still make a um, good size, you know, throw blanket or African or a baby blanket or something. So, there's that. And then, they only had one of these. It didn't have a, um, didn't have a ball band on it, but it reminds me of Neapolitan ice cream, and if I had to guess the name of it, I would say it's Neapolitan. That's what I'm going to call it anyway. Because it does look like Neapolitan ice cream. So I thought that would make a nice um, baby blanket just to have on hand. And then I got this one right here. And the colorway of this one is, let's see. Jordan almonds and again you know these are 603 yards and I got three of these so um, I don't know what I'll make but I could make something um, large since I have three of them okay and then um, they had a bunch a bunch of cakes this size and I already do have some cakes this size but um, they happened to have three of these, and I thought, well, the three of them together would make a um, nice blanket. This is called Cake Pop. Um, and that's all. 
I mean, I know there was a brand called Cake Pops a while back. I don't remember what our brand it was, but they were Cake Pops. But this one, the colorway is called Cake Pop. But anyway, it's a tan, um, kind of a gray, uh, light gray, a turquoise, and a white. So I thought about, um, I'm trying to have baby blankets on hand, like some boy baby blankets and girl baby blankets. So that's why I went ahead and got this. Hey, baby. Hold on, let Elijah hold you a minute. So I got three of these. Okay, and then I love this colorway here. Um, I got how many of these? Two. Two of these called Cherry's Jubilee. So, um, you know, it's the bright pink, darker pink, a burgundy color. So I thought that would be pretty. And this one is, um, Two hundred and ninety-seven yards. Let me see what this one was because it looks so much smaller. It's three. What was that say? This is three hundred and eighty-three yards, and it's a four weight. This one is two hundred ninety-seven yards, and it's a six. So there is a difference in these. This one will work out really fast. This one will work out fast too because it's a four. But um. Anyway, so I got those, three of these and two of that. So that'll make something pretty. Maybe a um, baby blanket. And then um, they had some other yarn, not on clearance, but on sale. And so um, I don't know if you've seen pictures on Instagram or Facebook that I have a new great niece born. And so I had made her a little pink dress um, for a bag of day crochet pattern. And actually, it was a um, it was a pattern for a doll, like American Girl doll dress. And so Hazel <coughs> was born weighing four pounds and one ounce. So I made her that little doll dress, and she can still wear it. I just asked my niece the other day, has she outgrown her dress? And she said, no, she can still wear it. So I'm gonna make her a newborn dress, <laughs> and and you know, like a couple of dresses going up in sizes. And so they had this feels like butter. They had these on sale for five ninety nine, and this does just feel lovely. Like that, I'm sure that would feel really great for a baby. <laughs> I love it. It does feel nice. It's all right. It's like velvet, I guess. Right? And it does feel really soft, don't it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and the name of it is feels like butter. I didn't make that up. <laughs> he thinks I make half the stuff I say up. Okay, and this is a four weight, and it is 590 yards. But anyway, I got two of these because um, I didn't know how much of a dress, how much the dress called for. And if I can make two of them, that's good. If I make one per skein, that's good too. Just see what happens. I'll make one and see how far the yarn goes. And then I also got a. Um, a pink? Oh, what's the colorway of that one? Uh, buttercup. This yellow. It's kind of a muted yellow. It's not bright. And then I have this pink one. And it is... Blossom. And it's a muted pink. But again, it's just very, very soft. And then I got a blue one that is called Seafoam. That is blue, right? Yeah, it's like a light, it's kind of blue. yeah, it's kind of a light muted blue. But anyway, I thought those three were really pretty and just the softness of them is really what sold me on it to make a baby dress because I wouldn't want to make her anything that's um, rough or itchy, you know. And the first dress I had made her was made out of Karen Simply Soft. Um, but I'm not really a fan of crocheting with that or or even loom knitting with that because it is kind of splitty for me. And so the other thing I bought was this um, Karen Cotton Cakes and this colorway is called, I have it upside down, 
Um, can you read it? Candy Lavender. Candy Lavender. And it is 530 yards. So I don't know if I'll just try to make a little blanket with this. Maybe a granny square blanket. I don't know how far that would really go. But um, it's nice, sweet, pretty colors. So I might just try to make Hazel a little blanket out of that. And it would go with these dresses that I'm planning on making. Although there's no yellow in here. But the pink and the blue kind of is. But anyway, and so I asked the manager of the store if they were going to put all that yarn in grab bags. And she said, she said, I don't know. She said, that's the cash office person's job. And we hadn't had a cash office person job person, but they just put Elijah up to the cash office now. He's over the cash office and that's his job to decide whether the yarn goes in grab bags or not. So, I've already been getting a phone call saying, well, let's see. we put the yarn in grab bags. But, so, his job is in the cash office to um, count the money and count out the, I don't know, what is your job? I count the teals for the register every morning. I deal with all the online orders that we have, all the pricing in the store, I work all the clearance. Yeah, changing changing prices to clearance stuff out. And she said they haven't had a person doing that. And so all the yarn has not been getting clearanced out like it's supposed to be. And that's why they just had so much at the same time. But um, she said it's the cash office person's job to decide if things are going in grab bags. So. We'll see. How much are grab bags now? Four dollars a bag. So, um, I've already got a phone call with some $4 yarn grab bags. <laughs> anyway, well, thanks for watching, guys. I just wanted to share with you the yarn that I picked up at Michael's. And <clears throat> I have seen online that other people have said that they have seen some clearances at their Michael's of yarn. So, Check it out. You might get lucky. Who knows? I don't know. Oh, Phoebe, you tired? <laughs> okay, so we'll see you later, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching.